welcome to Healthy Living. I am so glad that you are here with me. Yes, I am back I am, out here in I the garden. I am always in the garden. As soon as I wake up, I think about the garden. I probably make two or three trips out here in the garden, honey. I got to check on the groceries. Okay, it's free. And it's free because we put it out there and we maintenance and maintain it. So we're excited about it. At least I am. I want to tell you a couple things today and I'm going to put up some different messages probably here, there, somewhere in the video. That what happens when you cut all of your leaves or just majority of your leaves from your collard greens so I'm out here today you can see that somebody's been on them greens so right here yeah I'm shopping again I'm shopping again okay so what happens when you cut your leaves down so low and you're actually enjoying your greens instead instead of allowing the insects to enjoy them more you cut off of your greens more you cut off of, I guess pretty much any of your greens certain ones because you want to be careful how close you cut down as far as your leaves but they will continue to grow and they're supposed to grow back even faster, okay? So that is the good thing. So don't be sitting up there just waiting till your greens get really big, enormous, or just to say that you have greens. Y'all go out there, enjoy them greens, eat them greens, baby. All it's gonna do is help this body, okay? So I'm gonna finish. You can tell, honey, I've been, I've been up in there doing it. So I have these right here left. Then I'm going to cut. And right in here, out of all of my greens, I have 14 planted. Okay? And you would think having 14 plants of greens, it would be a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest a couple that I have here. And it don't take long. You see? Hey, I done got good at this. But I always plant collard greens. And the, one year, some of our collard greens went bad. But I'm gonna show you, out of all 14, this is the damage off of one plant. So I didn't allow, all of these are good. Oh, here's another one, done eight. But what I did notice down in here, down in the middle, there's one uh, leaf that's been eaten on and so I don't know I'm gonna just go in here now that's a sign of something eaten okay <clears throat> so and no I don't see any I don't see any bugs but even though I don't see a bug I know that it's been here okay so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these while we're here. And then I want to talk to you about something else. Okay. So we're done right now on the collard greens. Let's move over here and let's talk about cauliflower cauliflower I keep coming out here y'all I keep coming out I keep coming out here family and looking to see if I see any cauliflower and I don't see any and so you know in my other video that I was thinking like maybe I got the wrong plant from Lowe's right Home Depot so this is why this is so important because when I came out here and I was looking around, this actually says about cauliflower. Full sun, six plus hours. Space them 18 apart. The mature for cauliflower, y'all, is 70, excuse me, 75 days after planting. I keep coming out here looking. It's not time. It's not time, but you better believe when I come out here and I see a white fluorescent, I'm going to be excited. 
I'm gonna be too excited, y'all know I am. Uh, because this is my first time doing cauliflower. And I did plant some over there in paradise and broccoli in paradise. But, okay, yeah, here comes the biggie. I kept looking to find out about broccoli. And I kept coming out here looking and looking. So, they give us this for a reason. So I look on the back, six hours, full sun, and it takes 57 days after planting. So, y'all, read, read your, your, your tags, read your labels so you don't get disappointed. And another thing that gardening does to us, it makes us be patient. Oh yeah, makes us be patient. So, I wanna show the broccoli the fluorescent to you, okay? Here we go. All right, here is the broccoli, y'all. I can actually show you now. When I showed you the first time, it was a baby. Then, I just realized, you don't just get one, okay? You get several, okay? So when you cutting these leaves off and using them, uh, to cook right along with your greens or if you're cooking them by yourself make sure be careful where you're cutting and allow your broccoli to grow all right so we're going to just come up in here and just show you some is bigger than others look at that one y'all i am too excited i didn't realize that you get more than one fluorescent uh in the garden now, I'm going to be careful because I'm not going to get my Brussels sprouts and I do need to move them. There's some more. There's some more. And let me see. And there's a baby one there. Maybe that one's not getting that much sun. So, and another thing while we out here in the big garden. Y'all kind of wondering why I haven't done anything here. This here is just resting. And I look like I got some weeds I need to pull out of here. These are tomatoes that reseed their self. I'm going to eventually end up taking these out, putting them in a pot, and I'm going to have their own area for them to be. The green beans are still hanging in there. They're looking good. The flowers are looking good. The asparagus is doing their thing. But one more thing. So, family, I want to tell you that, as I understand, because last year when I had um, collard greens and when they flowered, I was thinking it was time to get rid of them. But as I understand, when your collard greens or when your greens or kale ends up flowering, that you got seeds on that kale, and not only that, the flowers on your um, on your collard greens that when they flower they're like broccoli when they start flowering on collard green so as i understand you can take them and cook them enjoy them as well and i'm going to try that i'm going to try that i'm going to utilize as much as i can i'm going to tell you all thank you thank you for spending this time with me if you looked at a video a couple days ago and the ones who told me happy birthday, because yesterday was my birthday. I want to tell you all, thank you too much. But this weekend, I'm off. I love airplanes. So we're going to go, if it's not foggy, we're going to go and check out some airplanes taking off and coming in, landing. And then I asked for a massage uh, and inquiments. We don't have to do it all at one time. And what else did I ask for? Oh, and to go fishing yes and i think we're gonna go out to eat this weekend so if i get some pictures or anything that's going on i will share with you all family and i once again i want to tell you thank you for all my subscribers thank you for the support and i'll see you all in the next video